Hi, I'm Rachel Sprabley, uh, Hypnosis with Rachel, and I'm here with Advi Coach, Business Coach, Sharon Lewis. And today we're going to talk about breaking business barriers um, with some strategies and mindsets. Specifically today, we're talking about overthinking, and we did not overthink our presentation. So this should be a nice short one on um, how overthinking gets us stuck in our businesses and creates barriers. Life too. Mm -hmm. As soon as this goes. Uh, so overthinking. So really in, in our businesses, we know that thinking is a strength, right? So we need to think through our things. Um, but sometimes overthinking can become a challenge. That's when we really just get stuck and we can't proceed based on um, our thought processes and you never get to a decision and never get to take action. Like this to move on its own and it's not. There we go. Okay. So you want to tell us about how you know when you're overthinking? Yes. How do you know when you're overthinking? Well, when is it not good and when is it good? So it's not good if you are thinking the same thoughts over and over again and you're unable to take action. If okay. it, it is good, if you're thinking the thoughts over and over, however, there's time to take action upon those thoughts for example you need to it's lunchtime and you need to send an email you know that after lunch you can send the email so you can now stop overthinking about that because you have um something in mind on how you can take action a, a plan a plan thank you and okay. it's not good when you're unable to take action because if you're driving the kids and you're thinking about work it's not a good place to think about work because there's absolutely nothing you can do about it in that moment in time. Or if it's bedtime and you're thinking about what you need to do the next day, okay. that is also um, overthinking when you should be sleeping so you can take action the next day. So when you, you're talking about overthinking, are you um, thinking, thinking about it in the terms of it's the same thought pattern over and over again or is that that's a little different than what I think of when it, where I think of overthinking so yes the same thought pattern over and over again or thoughts about things that you need to do that you're unable to take action on at that okay time. right because I when I so what I think of, of overthinking is more of and I think it's on the next slide is um really worrying about everything that could possibly happen or uh, going through all the scenarios of the, all your options and never being able to get to that point where you're like, oh, this is where, I, this is how I'm gonna move forward with it. So um, and this is actually, it yes. does say the next <laughs> right. So analysis paralysis. So, it, and I see this in, in lots of clients, um, not so, uh, I don't think I tend to overthink things. If anything else, I tend to like, oh, let's just go forward with it. Me too. Um, well. Yeah. So some of the, the challenges are you're you're always gathering data, right? You, you're never comfortable enough with the information that you have to say, I have enough. So um, sometimes with clients, it's getting to the, having them think through what, what an, what's enough information? Like, do I research this for months at a time? Or do I gather a, a reasonable amount of information? What define what a reasonable amount of information is so that you you're making an informed decision because we don't want to make you know decisions off the top of our head, but we also don't want to get to the point where we can't ever move forward because there's always more information out there somewhere. Um, a lot of people will ask everybody in their brother's opinion, right? Whether they're uh, you know, you ask your friends and family, which is great, but not everybody has the basis to give you a good, valid opinion, right? So if you just keep, you know, you ask the store clerk, like, what do you think? I was thinking of like changing my hair color. What do you think of this? And you keep asking people, um, you, either you're waiting until you get the answer that feels right for you, or you're, you're just sort of collectively trying to make everybody else make their decision for you. 
Um, and the one I talked about before is that that what ifs. So you get stuck in the, well, if this happens, what what do I do? And you know, all these things that could happen, and then you never actually get going. Um, one of the the solutions is just to start. And even if it's picking a small part of the project, like small actions, small goals, and getting started, but start before you're really ready. Um, a lot of times our decisions are really just gut decisions, right? It Something feels right and you have to let yourself get to that point. Yeah, so I also, you know, we both see um, entrepreneurs starting out, um, Start out, start out very small with a great vision ahead of them. However, they do get stuck in each moment of the process mm -hmm. rather than just jumping ahead to what you can do right now. Or, you know, we've, we've both seen people who feel like, well, they're not educated enough yet. So they got their, you know, qualifications, Mm -hmm. uh, this person has, you know, better qualifications and they're doing what I want to do. And so they gain more qualifications and overthink what they actually need when what they need to do is just put their message out there. Um, and, let people and start. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, that, that's a, a really good point. And I, that, especially the qualification thing, right? It, not starting because you're you're waiting for another degree or you're waiting for another course. And it's it's all those um, steps. And sometimes finding an accountability partner is a great way to go. Somebody else who will encourage you and say, it's okay to start now mm -hmm. um, and, and get moving on things. Uh, otherwise, I, so my favorite quote is, um, perfection is the enemy of progress, or I, it, it's also perfect is the enemy of good. Same, same thought, but it's, you know, you're waiting for things to be absolutely right. And I always tell people it's the same thing. It's like you're making a decision to have kids. There's no perfect time. Just do right. it and get it over with. <laughs> get it over with. <laughs> yeah, just, just go for it. So. <laughs> yeah. So this so, is um, your, your, your tomorrow I need to do list. Yes. Yeah, so, you know, these lists, they happen right before bedtime, or maybe it's happening because you're procrastinating and avoiding something. So if you find yourself stuck in what you need to do in the future, even if it's tomorrow or next week, just kind of take a step back and ask yourself, okay, what am I avoiding doing today? Or um, am I procrastinating on something? Because we can all easily, you know, procrastinate these days with Facebook, Instagram, <laughs> thinking about what to do next week. But we have a lot that we can also take action on um, today. So becoming aware that you're getting into this mode and becoming aware of what you are avoiding. Okay. And why you're avoiding it would be also good too, right? If it's based on fear or you, yeah. you don't know how to start, um, things you really don't enjoy. Um, I always, I think those are interesting because then you could have the opportunity to look for ways to accomplish the same thing without actually doing it or delegating it to somebody else if it's, if you have the opportunity to, um, but yeah, trying to go into the why you're, why you're not doing it. And that's the barrier thing, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, Wow. So I, like, I like your beach slide. <laughs> I love the beach. Um, yes. So thoughts of the past, they can consume you. And I have a lot of clients who come in and they focus on the past and that brings forth depression. And so if you find that you're overthinking things that happened in the past, you could have done differently, you should have done differently, take the word should out of your vocabulary immediately for going forward, never use it again. Um, but if you find yourself stuck in the past, regretting, wishing, um, all those feelings come back to you and change how you're doing things today. So that's an, a different kind of overthinking. And, um, you know, it, it brings you to depression. So if you're struggling with that, Obviously, consider therapy, you can consider hypnosis, 
Um, if you're struggling with the past in your business, you can talk to Sharon, um, who will help you see how, what good has come from your choices that you made in the past. Yeah. Um, but also thinking of the future. If you're thinking, overthinking the future, all right, I, I'm not where I need to be. And in six months, I wanted to be here and I'm not going to get there because I'm stuck here. So if you're focusing on the future and it's coming from a place of anxiety and worry, you know, that's a form of overthinking that's going to, you know, possibly create illness. And also, again, if you are struggling with anxiety or worry, then hypnosis or um, therapy definitely will help. Or if it's the future of your business, again, Sharon is here to help with that. Yeah, and I think that your point about the should, so shoulds, should, like should haves in the past, that's basically regrets. And do we dwell on the regret, regrets or do we learn from what we did? And I, I talk a lot about um, should, shoulds for the future because the, the things that people feel that they should do are usually somebody else's stuff right so yeah. your parents expect you to get married and have two and a half kids you should go to college you should do this this and this and to your point if you're doing the things that are important to somebody else and not important to you you get depressed you get anxiety you're not happy in in what you're doing so it's really good to look at your your values and where you spend your time and your energy and is it somebody else's values or are they yours excellent point I really like the shoulds, but um, so hopefully it's a, some good ideas and tips on um, eliminating overthinking. And both Rachel and I have some content on our websites about um, Rachel has a mini hypno boost to eliminate overthink. And I have some steps you can take today to help you get out of the overthinking pattern. So it was very nice to talk to you again, Rachel. Awesome. And Great to talk to you. We will do this again soon. Take care.